How common are paraphilias? What do you know about women's sexuality in history and literature? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Paraphilias are unusual or atypical sexual desires, such as fetishism or BDSM. Their prevalence varies, but many people have mild or moderate paraphilic interests. Not all paraphilias are problematic or require treatment. Women's sexuality in history and literature has been a broad and diverse topic. There have been varied representations of female sexuality over time, influenced by cultural and social norms of each era. Acquired premature ejaculation. While some men experience premature ejaculation from the onset of their sexual life, others may develop it later due to factors such as stress, anxiety, or changes in the relationship. Adolescent consumption. Exposure to pornography at a young age can have significant effects on adolescents' sexual development, influencing their attitudes, behaviors, and perceptions about sex. Alternative and complementary medicine. Some alternative and complementary therapies, such as acupuncture, herbal therapy, and massage therapy, have been used to treat erectile dysfunction, although the scientific evidence of their effectiveness is limited and variable. Alternative therapies. The Kama Sutra has inspired the development of alternative therapies, such as tantric therapy, which focus on improving emotional and sexual connection between couples through specific techniques. Sexual education. Comprehensive sexual education in schools and communities plays a crucial role in STD prevention by providing accurate information about safe sex, condom use, and the importance of regular testing. Sexual fantasies and gender roles. Sexual fantasies can challenge traditional gender roles, allowing people to explore aspects of their sexuality that may not align with social expectations. This can include role reversal fantasies or unconventional scenarios. Sexual response cycle. The traditional model of the sexual response cycle includes four phases, excitement, plateau, orgasm, and resolution. However, this model can vary in each individual and may not always follow a linear pattern. Sexuality and culture. Sexuality is strongly influenced by cultural factors, such as social norms, religious beliefs, and family traditions, which can lead to a wide diversity of attitudes and sexual practices in different parts of the world. Sexuality and advertising. Sexuality is often used in advertising to sell products, leveraging sexual attraction and gender stereotypes to capture public attention and drive sales. Sexuality in old age. As people age, their sexual needs and desires may change, but sexuality remains an important part of life. Many older adults continue to enjoy an active and satisfying sex life. Sexually transmitted infections can be asymptomatic in some cases, meaning a person can be infected and transmit the disease without knowing it. This underscores the importance of regular testing, especially for those who are sexually active. Silent infections. Many STDs, such as chlamydia and gonorrhea, may not present obvious symptoms, leading to unnoticed spread and increased risk of long-term complications if left untreated. Sleep disorders and erectile dysfunction. Sleep apnea, a disorder characterized by interruptions in breathing during sleep, has been associated with an increased risk of erectile dysfunction in some studies, suggesting a connection between sleep quality and sexual health. Solo exploration. Many women enjoy experimenting with different sexual positions during solo masturbation sessions as a way to discover what feels best for them and enhance their understanding of their own pleasure. Standing positions. Although less common, some women enjoy standing sexual positions, such as against the wall or leaning standing, which can add an element of adventure and risk to the sexual experience. In sub-Saharan African countries, 
sexual education programs in secondary schools include classes on sexual and reproductive rights, gender equality, and prevention of sexual violence. Taboo and acceptance. Some cultures may consider certain fetishes taboo, while in others they are more accepted or even celebrated. This reflects cultural differences in the perception of sexuality and individual expression. Tattoo, fetishism. This fetish involves sexual attraction to tattoos on the body of the partner or oneself, finding the presence of tattoos erotically stimulating. The effect of medication on libido. Some medications, such as antidepressants and hormonal contraceptives, can affect people's libido and sexual function. It's important to speak with a healthcare professional if you experience changes in your sexual desire as a result of medication. The impact of media on perceptions of sexuality. The media, including television, movies, and pornography, can influence perceptions of sexuality and create unrealistic expectations about sex. The importance of self-exploration. Knowing and exploring one's own body is essential for a healthy sexuality. Self-exploration can help people understand their preferences, limits, and sexual desires. The importance of sexual self-care. Sexual self-care involves making informed and responsible decisions about one's own sexuality, including the use of contraceptives, prevention of sexually transmitted diseases, sexual health care, and seeking professional help when necessary. The influence of technology on sexuality. Technology has transformed how people explore, express, and experience their sexuality, from online pornography to dating apps and high-tech sex toys. The prevalence of sexual disorders. Sexual disorders, such as erectile dysfunction or hypoactive sexual desire disorder, are common and can affect people of all ages and genders. The role of fantasy in sexuality. Sexual fantasies are common and can be a healthy part of a person's sexual life. Exploring fantasies consensually and safely can add variety and excitement to sexual life. Time of day. Women's preferences for sexual positions may vary depending on the time of day, with some feeling more energized and adventurous in the morning, while others prefer the intimacy of nighttime encounters. Toys for sexual rehabilitation. Sex toys are sometimes used in sexual rehabilitation programs to help individuals regain sensation and sexual function after injuries or surgeries. Toys for the P-spot. Just as women have the G-spot, Men have the P-spot, a highly erogenous zone within the rectum. Sex toys designed for P-spot stimulation can provide intense prostate orgasms. Types of anorgasmia. There are two main types of anorgasmia. Primary, in which the individual has never experienced an orgasm, and secondary, where the individual has had orgasms in the past, but no longer experiences them. Use of sensual cosmetics. Cosmetic products such as massage oils, flavored lubricating gels, and scented candles can be fun and sensory elements to incorporate into foreplay, stimulating multiple senses at the same time. Variation in intensity. Changing the intensity of caresses, kisses, and other forms of stimulation can keep arousal increasing and prevent monotony during foreplay. Variety of fantasies. Sexual fantasies can vary greatly from one person to another. Some are common, such as sex in public places, while others may be more unusual, such as excitement over foot fetishism. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.